Welcome to the Zen Zone. This is the first video of the year 2023 for me. I hope your guys' year has been going well. Totally new year. Beautiful here in Vegas. I did 500 miles on my T4 and Bagode Master. Thank you, Bagode, for the new V4 Master. It is amazing. It's definitely one of my favorite UCs that I've ever ridden, especially with the tire that I'm using. It is so sweet. Like the brand new outer native reflective level two armored jacket that I'm wearing now. Speaking of which, this video is a sponsored video. Sponsored videos help me to keep making content, to improve the quality of my content, and to get a new EUC or new camera equipment. It is a very expensive hobby. Already twice in January. Wrecked the Skydio 2. Not too bad. Thankfully, no serious damages because I didn't get the care program. I am not regretting it yet because I haven't had to use it. Also picked up the One X3, the Insta360 One X3. It's their newest camera. It is pretty sweet camera. I picked it up because I wanted to see if I could capture some of the low light situations of the silver reflective jacket, and it does a pretty good job of it. Supporting my content is as simple as leaving a like, comment, or using my discount code ZenLeeJB10 at OuterNative.com to get yourself 10% off this high quality reflective jacket with so many features, it's going to take a full video to go through them. Luckily, we'll be on the adventure together, and along the way, we'll see some awesome Vegas UC shots from the Skydio 2 and Insta360. First off, it's called the Jack Bag because it transforms from a jacket to a bag in less than 30 seconds. It may take you a little bit longer your first few tries. I'm getting faster each time. This bag was big enough to fit most of my gear and it's extremely convenient for keeping things organized and consolidated on longer adventure rides. There are two options and two jackets you'll see in this video, the Midnight Black and the Silver Reflective. The Reflective jacket is the one I recommend the most as it adds visibility to you in low light conditions and really stands out. But I find myself wearing the Midnight Black quite a bit as I've been doing uh, most of my rides during the daytime and I think it stands out during the daytime. Like if it's a high visibility situation, the black is amazing. Wouldn't wear the black one at night unless I was using like my safety lights, a lot of safety lights. Both the Midnight and Silver Jackets have inserts for the level two pads, which fit into the shoulders, elbows, and back. These pads are great for low speed crashes if fitted well, but for higher speed or more aggressive type of riding in more dangerous situations, you'll want to add another layer, which is what I like to do. I'll wear like a soft layer of pads under the level two pads. So it's kind of like doubling up the protection. It blends really well. These pads are optional and you do not have to add them up. The Jack bag is full of surprises. It comes in a bag full of surprises. Mine had like a emergency whistle, a keychain, and like a mini baton. I think it was a mini baton. Not sure what it would be used for. And it also came in like another mini bag. All of these easily fit into the pockets. And there will still be plenty of room left over because the Jack bag has a 14 pocket system that will fit most of your tech and adventure item. It even has a little pocket with a microfiber attached to it so that you can clean the lenses of your tech devices. And the little knobs make it easy to zip up in cold weather with your gloves on. And mittens into it as well. Those are a nice feature. So it has like a lot of pockets, a lot of ventilation if you need it. So on hot days, you can unzip it. That's a pretty thick quality hood. Oh, nice. And then, and then it has a tie so you can make it tighter around your face. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Feature, mm -hmm. half hands. Where this jacket shines most, pun intended, is at nighttime. The silver reflective jacket really lights up at night. The camera, the Insta One X, is not doing this jacket ju just <laughs> justice at all. It really lights up in a positive way, not only in nighttime, but in the daytime as well. Like car lights or any light that shines or reflects the sunlight, anything will reflect off it. And it's really cool to see it illuminate. So I'm reading from the Outer Native website here. It says that 92% of fatal outdoor incidents occur in low light conditions. That's why the reflective fabric is very practical. So it will keep you visible and safe no matter what time of day it is. Being visible is one of the most important things of being a PV rider, especially an EUC rider, any electric device, because you're super quiet and you have a lot of power and speed. 
So if you're moving at high speeds or even low speeds, a vehicle may not be able to see you. So visibility is essentially your first line of defense. An outer native with the reflective material is doing a great job. And you have your pads, your level two pads to keep you safe as well. So this jacket has a lot going for it in terms of safety for the PEV community. That's why I'm happy to bring and share this product with you. Again, discount code ZENLEEJB10 is my gift to you, 10% off this jacket. It will withstand pretty extreme temperatures. I do think adventure riders will really want it for its rugged all weather material. We tested it in light, rainy, and snowy conditions, and it did great. It kept me warm. The outer layer is a great way to keep the wind from tearing through you. And then, of course, you'll want some other layers underneath. The jacket can withhold between 5 to 27 degrees Celsius, 41 to 98.6 Fahrenheit. So it goes up to pretty cold temperatures there. It does have plenty of ventilation for the hotter months, but here in Vegas, when it gets over 110 you don't wear a jacket anyway, so it's not going to be a summer jacket for me. Although sometimes at nighttime, I probably will wear, wear it when it cools down. It's definitely going to be my, the silver reflective is definitely going to be my nighttime wear. And then the midnight black during the day. It is a little bit thinner material because it's not reflective. And I find that it's much cooler. Conclusion, I think this jacket is great for the PEV EUC electric community for its safety features and all its tech features as well. The fact that it has so many pockets for cameras is extremely useful. I can't recommend this jacket enough. I do feel like the price point is great. It is on sale right now. Plus you can use my discount discount code to get yourself 10% off. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Doc Zhang for helping me on uh, this video. He was modeling the Midnight Black for me and helping me test it out. Do appreciate him. Hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this video. And until next time, <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good jackets.